I'm still numb. Can't feel my bottom lip. I can't tell. I can't feel anything. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this later. <laughs> Where I left off the last time in my smile makeover dental journey was right after I had gotten the screws installed. And I don't know if you can see it while I talk. I've done stage two where I get these beautiful pegs and I have to live with them until the end of the month. <laughs> so the date that I got this done was January 6th. It is January 10th right now. So that's how many days. So four days after surgery, I'm doing good though i did irritate the area a little bit the rest of the day after the surgery i was surprised at the lack of pain when the freezing wore off i was expecting it to like be uncomfortable but it was barely uncomfortable i had no pain i had no swelling i was shocked and then the following day same deal i was like am i already healed so i ate something that i knew i shouldn't have but i thought i was invincible i thought my skin was magical and wouldn't be affected for some reason i ate dill pickle hummus and the very next day i had the irritation by irritation i mean just very mild throbbing nothing that i even really needed tylenol for and just a teeny bit of pus this started happening on saturday i didn't call my dentist because i was like let me see if it clears up on its own and then sunday it hadn't cleared up my dentist's office is closed on sunday so today being monday i gave them a call and they had me come in to pick up a bottle of oral cleanse so basically I just rinse with five milliliters morning and night for a week and this should clear it right up and they said just take like Tylenol or whatever for the pain but yeah that's the only major complication that I've had this side doesn't really have any issues it's this side and I think when I had the initial surgery it was the same deal I had more trouble with this side than this side I'll actually give you guys a closer up view of what it looks like and this is also something that I was really curious about I was like so they open up my gums do I just have a hole in my gums if I get pegs what do they look like am I just gonna have these little pegs hanging out of my mouth like for however long until I get the crowns like what is it? this is the answer that I was looking for quickly before I show you guys the first stage. well technically the first stage is getting a nerve scan I've already gone over this but first stage of surgery is them drilling into your jawbone and then in installing the screw and then closing the gums. The second stage includes them cutting the gum open and this was strange, I'm gonna get to it. They take like the flat screw that is in the piece that is fused to your bone and then they put this piece in and this is what it looks like. I've also noticed that the one on this side is smaller than this one because the space is smaller on this side. I will need to get a third dental implant because I do have a third congenital missing tooth on this side. Just a reminder to you guys that this can happen to anyone. It's very rare, this condition, but a lot of people do have congenital missing teeth and it's not to any fault of our own. The teeth just didn't develop. I lucked out for wisdom teeth as I only developed one. Unfortunately, I lost out with having three of my primary molars not having an adult tooth below them but the third one still has a root so the process for that is going to be a bit longer because if they have to pull it out they have to wait for the bone to heal if the tooth is already gone it's an easier process if you have to get the tooth extracted it's a longer more difficult process I do have to say that it has been a lot simpler than I thought it was going to be also even the process process of this one was a lot less. I didn't take any nitrous this time. I didn't need it. They go to the site to numb the gums because that's all they really have to be concerned about. They don't have to worry about anything within the jaw so they don't have to go back here to the nerves to get them. In my opinion, it's much easier to deal with freezing at the site than it is to go back to get the nerve here to get the entire area frozen for drilling. When he was cutting the gums open, I didn't feel a thing i was so frozen i couldn't even tell what he was doing he was just kind of like mm. and then when the assistant came in with a suction i was like oh he cut my gums open my gums are open and i no clue. 
So then he takes this like, I can't explain it. It's not a drill. It's like a thing to take it out. So I guess it's like, what do you call, I don't know tools. I don't know what that's called, but it is mechanized. And I think that's what just pulled out the screw that's in the thing that's embedded in my jaw. And then he had like a syringe full of something, I guess, to cleanse inside. And then basically just screws in the peg that you saw on my gums. It takes a bit of time. My full appointment was like, I want to say just under 90 minutes. A lot of that is dedicated to allowing your mouth to become frozen. That takes up a lot of time. I think the actual process might be an hour for two. So it's not something that takes a day. When it was time to go over to the other tooth, I did need a bit more freezing. I actually posted a TikTok of my crooked smile. My face was still frozen when I took that, but it's also a good reference to show what it looked like immediately after surgery. I'm actually going to insert that here. Also a good thing about this, I don't have to worry about any stitches. The pegs basically act as the stitch because there's something in there. I don't know, because they like punch out the skin so it's a hole. This process has also been relatively quick for me, but I also do heal really fast. So don't fully use me as an example. Go by what your professional dentist says, not what I say. I'm just sharing my experience for you guys because it's something that I love to reference when ever I'm going to do anything really. I like to know everything that's gonna happen. The date that I get the crowns is January 31st and I have to say that after like a long time not having teeth there, it's gonna feel weird having a tooth there and like eating and not having the spaces. So it's gonna take some time to get used to, but I don't know what it's gonna be like until I have them. I just feel like it's it's gonna be cool to like finally have my smile complete. I also have to say that like fixing your teeth fixes your appearance all around and I didn't really know how much my teeth were actually affecting my confidence because I remember before if I took a video of myself and my teeth showed too much I would delete the video and I wouldn't post it and it also got to the point where I felt like I didn't look good in pictures. I still don't post a lot but I'm sure when it's complete I'm gonna be posting a lot more because there's also the questions and accusations that people make like this one guy on Twitter <sighs> He came to my YouTube channel and he tried to spam dislikes and it's just like, do you not know I have power over my channel? I can just ban you and delete your comments and I can even report you for harassment. <laughs> he actually made a comment about my teeth saying that, oh, you didn't brush your teeth, da da da. No, I did. That just goes back to the condition that I actually have. As I said before, anyone can have this condition and even having something like braces, it can damage your roots depending on how your body responds to it. I actually have a friend who's looking into getting one of her teeth pulled and having an implant put in because her braces actually damaged her root. So it doesn't necessarily have to do with one's hygiene why they would need dental implants. Never really assume if you don't know the person, if you haven't seen them live a certain way or you don't know about how hygienic they are because oftentimes people are just wrong. I also have to state that this guy lost his entire Twitter account. Um, yeah. Also going backwards, I didn't add this update because it was so short and kind of insignificant and I figured I can just let you guys know in this vlog. A month after I got the screws installed, I went to the dentist for a checkup on the area. All was good. It healed really well. They basically just look at the area and take x-rays to make sure that they're still in the right place. I guess if there's any shifting, they have to redo it. And I didn't pay for that checkup. This appointment cost me $300. So the total so far for me of what this has cost me is $3,600. And I won't know what the final stage costs until I get the bill. I was given a ballpark range of like $6,000 for the two teeth so I'm kind of expecting that appointment to cost me another three grand. I guess that's everything that I have to say about 
this. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section and we can discuss it. Also give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe as it is very much appreciated because it does help my channel out a lot. That's everything for now. Thanks for watching.